So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. In today's Power BI video I have a very very cool trick to show you. I know that it's been everywhere like on Twitter, you know, Guy in a Cube beat me to it yesterday. But I still want to show you this because there are some buts and nifs and you know all that stuff that I want to go through with you. Okay, so I, while I was on vacation, even though I didn't open my computer, I did have my phone on and I followed Harvey News, obviously. So I saw Eric Swenson tweet about a Excel connector. That means that from Power BI Desktop, you can actually click on a button and get all your data and your model to Excel. How cool is that? So me and others asked him to tweet about it and he actually did you know how he managed to do it and there's an explanation i'm going to post the link down below and here you can see how he did it using powershell so i install it and try it and it works very very good if you, if you like a week after two weeks after sql bi actually launch the same thing analyzed in excel but this is a you install a package on your computer uh, basically you don't need to configure anything it works very very well uh, i will post also the link down below so you can use either of the two methods if you cannot install packages on your computer use eric's method if you can use sql bi method now, skill bay guys are actually asking, they have open sourced the thing and they are asking for help to develop further. So if you have the skills, please help because this is very, very, very cool. This is the first time I'm excited about external tools in Power BI. Super, super cool. Okay, let's give it a go. I want to show you a few things because they say that the limitations, for example, for SQL BI, uh, that if you close the connection, if you close the Power BI, the connection to Excel will die because it's open a direct connection to Excel. And you can save the Excel file, but you cannot refresh it. But this is not entirely true. I'm going to show you how you can actually refresh it. It's a workaround, but it works. And um, this is version one, so you know there might be some bugs. Let them know. Submit an issue. Okay. Let's get started. Let me show you. So I've actually installed both. You can see this is SQL BI's uh, thing and this is the Eric's uh, connector. Both of them work. If I click on Eric's first, what it's going to do is going to open a PowerShell. It will find the local host and that will open the Excel file. You can see it here. And then you can just add things to the canvas like a normal pivot table. It is a live connection though. If you open the, if you use SQL BI, click this big green button. It won't, I don't know if it's using any PowerShell or what is in the background, I have no idea. But it does the same thing without pumping, you know, prompting this uh, PowerShell thing. One more thing with Eric's uh, technique is that you have to actually change the permissions and I'm going to post this in the comments so you can, if you want to try that method, use this. I don't know how secure this is. So use it if you know what you're doing, right? Otherwise don't. With that said, okay, so once you have this, one of the things that I've noticed is, for example, here on the products, you see that I have some, uh, for example, I have... Uh, Units in stock, units in order, and if I go here to products, this is the measures, and then this is the tables there, like the dimensions. They show up as dimension and not as numbers, so you cannot drop them into the value field as you would normally do, right? So if I try to put units in stock there, it says, mm -mm -mm. so in order for this to be recognized, you actually have to create a measure. So you create a new measure for units in stock, for example. I'll show you units in stock two, and then it's just a sum, right? So you need to have a measure for it to be recognized as such. Save it. And then because there is a live connection with the Excel file, you can just refresh and it will show on up here up here you have all the you see units in stock 
So it will show some measures so you can put it on the value. So the you won't be able to do it. Just as a note. I think this was the same for analyzing Excel. So if you're doing that already, there's nothing weird here. Let's talk about the connection. Here's the thing. If you go to change data source, you're going to see the live connection to the Power BI model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save these. Uh, let me find a proper place to save it. Mm -mm -mm. So save, replace it. So now I have sa I've saved it, right? It still has the connection because I haven't closed Power BI, but I am going to close Power BI now. And if I go again to change the connection to for example, refresh, this is what I'm going to get. We said, hey, Power BI is, you know, the port that they are using to connect Power BI and Excel does not exist because we closed Power BI. So how can you do it? Well, what you can do is actually open again. You have to find that port again. So if you open, say, OK, here you say, do you want to retry the connection? Yes. Let me show you what's going to happen. Now Power BI is opening, right? Click OK again. And they are going to present that with this. And this is the port that we need to change. This is the port that gives access to Excel to the Power BI database, basically. So how do we find that port? Well, there are, as always, a million ways to do this. But if you open... Uh, DAX Studio. You guys have a DAX Studio, right? I'm sure you do. So if you open, it is opening on my other screen. Just a second. There's a lot of things going on. One eternity later. So if you open DAX Studio and then you connect to the model, to the Power BI uh, report, it's actually going to tell us what the port is and it is in here you see it is 51903 so if we go back here to excel 51 what was it 51903 you will find the database and then you will reconnect to it now we can close the studio we can go to Excel, we can refresh, and it's not giving us any errors, it's actually refreshing again, okay? So if you close again Power BI and you try to use the model, you're going to get the same error because the live connection has been broken. You have to have Power BI open all the time while working, once you have it, you can save it and you can convert this into a table or do whatever you want, but just so you're aware of that. I have actually shown you other ways to connect to Excel from Power BI service. So if you want to check that out, just check this video there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully it's useful. I will see you again on Friday. Until then, take care. Bye bye.